Now I'm going to be talking about a while loop. Now a while loop is another type of loop that um, JavaScript uses and it is a loop that will do continue to run as long as the condition that's specified is true. Okay, so let's go through the parts of a, a while loop. The first part of a while loop, if you notice, it has a counting variable, we're calling it i, and it is outside of the while loop. So we need to actually set that before we actually go into the while loop. So here we have variable i is equal to 1. Now that's just my setting so that it's starting with the number 1. The next part in this while inside the parentheses is the condition in which if it's true, the while loop will run. So if this statement's true, it'll run. If it's not, it will actually skip past the, the curly braces and continue on. So in this case, if i is less than or equal to 5, it'll loop. It'll do whatever's in the, in the curly braces. Now that's where you would put whatever you'd like to repeat. But the other really important thing you need to do inside of a while loop is to increment the counting variable. If you don't do this, or if you forget to do this, it could be an unending loop and it would run forever. So if you imagine it's got i equal to 1, if i is less than or equal to 5, do what's inside. If you never add to it, it could be 1 forever. So it would check again. Is 1 less than 5? Yep, do what's inside. If it's 1 less than 5? Yep, do what's inside. So you could um, end up with a little bit of problems. Okay, so this is a very important line. Just like the for loop, you don't need to memorize how this structure is. Um, you can always look at examples, but then you need to understand how it works and be able to place things in the proper spots. Okay, let's trace a while loop. The first thing that happens, and just like in the programs that we've done, it starts at the top and continues down. So on this line, it's setting a variable, a counting variable, i equal to 1. So if you notice down here, I have a variable i, the value of i is 1. Goes to the while loop and it checks to see if this condition is true. Is i less than or equal to 5? Well yes, i is less than or equal to 5 because 1 is less than or equal to 5. Now it goes inside the curly braces and does whatever you tell it to do. In this case I'm having it, uh, if a document write line, i. So instead of just some text message, it's actually pulling the value from i and writing it. So if you notice, document.writeLine i, it's writing 1 because at this moment i is 1. Then it goes on to the next line and it increments the counting variable, setting it to 2. Then it goes back up to the while. Notice it doesn't go back up to this, this uh, statement here. It just stays within the while statement once it's in, but it rechecks. Is i less than or equal to 5? 2 is less than or equal to 5, so yes it's true. It does the document write line i. Well in this case i is 2, so it writes 2. And it increments i, so it adds 1 to i, puts it back into i, so i is now 3. And this keeps going until this is proven false. So once again, if you did not increment your variable, this could be an unending loop. But in this case, we are. So is 3 less than or equal to 5? Yes. So we write document write line i, which is 3. And we add 1 to increment it to 4. Is this true? Yes. 4 is less than or equal to 5. We write 4, because we're writing i. And we're adding 1. Now i is set to 5, so i is, is still equal to 5. We write i, and we add 1. Now this time, it checks, is 6 less than or equal to 5? No, it's not, and so it's false, so it actually jumps down and exits the loop. And it would continue on with whatever you've got in your program.